Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away from the game that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces here. I'll play the Karukan defense. And the opponent has aborted the game. So we'll just try to find another one. Yep. Again, we've got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan. Starts with c6 followed by d5. Opponent advances the pawn. So doesn't matter, we'll play bishop to f5. Uh, it can get a bit tricky, so we'll play h5 first, preventing some moves from the opponent. Like queen could have come here. Okay, I can take on the pawn without do that. Just tell up the bishop as well. She defends with the knight. Should have taken the knight first. Yeah, but now it's done and dusted. I can probably do pin the bishop on uh, the knight for now. Don't want to take it. You can just proceed with the pawn. Trying to attack as much as possible. Let's take. I could have bring back the bishop as well. Could have been one plan, but ah, oh, that's the magic. D4 goes. The bishop is hanging, and everything can be saved. And he resigns. That that was a quick win with the Karo Khan. We'll quickly analyze the game. That lasted 12 moves. So if your opponent is not pretty much aware of what you are trying to do, this can go wrong very early for the opponent. So he played the e4 standard opening, king spawn opening. I responded with c6. He plays f4 uh, being aggressive there, but f4 generally weakens up your king side already. That you have opened up the diagonal for, the, uh, for a check, probably potential check or threat from bishop or queen later on. I respond with d5, the best move, as I said. Uh, opponent plays pawn to e5 and here's the be the best move is to develop a bishop on f5. These are pretty standard moves in the Karukan which you can do irrespective of the fact what your opponent is playing. Mostly your bishop will lie on f5. Here the opponent responds with d4 going for the center. I played h5 just making sure that some point of the day if queen comes in over here I don't want to hang my bishop. Uh, I just want to take control of the h5 myself by playing it. So I played h5. Uh, open plays knight to f3. I play e6 now. And my opponent responds with c4. I take on the pawn. That's the best move. Probably not. He's computer searching. You can take on the uh, bring on knight on the a6. If the opponent closes the structure, then how are we winning? Oh, the next move can be tricky. We can have potential threats uh, with uh, because both are bishop and the knight are attacking them but for the time being it's pretty safe it's just that it's a positional disadvantage for the opponent because after we play b6 and um, we can even play a5 in future if required that's kind of a forced take for the opponent even if he tries to bring the bishop next we can take on with the pawn after some exchange happens we're pretty good there we can bring in the queen then again the bishop and the queen are attacking the bishop so that's kind of a winning situation from there let's go back to the game where uh, i took on the pawn which was also okay my opponent takes back with the bishop here i played uh, bishop to b4 um, could have actually so what i was think wondering in the game later on was that if i take on the knight first and he takes and then can i play bishop to uh, f uh, to b b4 here because now if opponent responds with say bishop 
Um, I can even play queen over here. Open cannot. What's the threat here? Of course, the opponent will not play this move. He will castle probably. And we should not go for exchange is what computer is suggesting. Okay, if we go with knight, suppose, of course, uh, h6 looks a bit weird for the humans. Here, if opponent is going for the exchange by putting the pawn ahead, we can probably exchange stuff. And this looks an okay position for black as well. Yep, that can be a playable line, pretty much controlling everything. Rather, I went for bishop to b4, and my open stops it with the knight. And here I played a bishop, other bishop on g4, pinning his knight uh, as the queen is under attack. Otherwise, so the opponent castles. I played h4 here. Uh, and after that, my opponent responds with h3. I can bring back the bishop as well, was one of the thoughts. Uh, and this looks a bit disadvantageous because ah, oh, the queen has a nice move next coming over here. So I took on the knight instead. He takes back with the queen, and after he takes, uh, we just take on a pawn in the center because that was not guarded. Here, I think he had to take with the, why is the computer not showing the analysis? He had to take with the rook here, uh, just to make sure that he doesn't lose out on the center pawn. But the opponent went wrong here, taking on the pawn with the bishop, with the queen. I take on the center pawn that, again, was a nice move because his bishop was hanging as well. So that was completely losing position and the opponent resigns. So yeah, you can quickly win matches with the Karupan as well. It's a solid defense, but don't think that it is very slow uh, because you can turn around things with just one small mistake from the opponent. I hope you like the video. Please do let me know your feedback. Do press the like button and do subscribe to the channel as well. I'm putting in a lot of hard work creating these videos daily without a miss and do go to the channel and check out the latest video as well thank you so much for your time take care bye bye